Number 10. The Iron Hand How cool would it be to have an iron hand? You could punch through brick, you could crush your enemies, and you could stick your hand directly into a fire. You'd be pretty well invincible. But then again, you wouldn't really play video games or text anyone since you wouldn't have a thumb. But that didn't matter in the 16th century, where our first archaeological discovery took place. One of the first prosthetic limbs in history was used by a fierce German mercenary knight named Gotz, and sometimes referred to as Gotz the Iron Hand. He lived in the early 1500s and was a soldier for hire. He also got hit by a cannonball in 1504 and lost his arm. To keep fighting, the clever mercenary developed the first Iron Hand ever. It's unclear who built this artifact, but it was definitely used by Gotz. It didn't give much of a range of motion, but he could still hold a sword with it, and he could still punch people with it. But then, a few years later, the mercenary upgraded to an even better iron hand. According to the American Journal of Surgery, the second hand was able to be manipulated using his left hand. He could tighten the joints at the knuckles to allow for a tighter grip. This helped for holding a sword, holding the reins of his warhorse, and even using a quill to write with. The mercenary's prosthetic limb is kept today inside a small castle in a German town of about 1,600 people. Gotts the Iron Hand is their historical pride and joy, with the prosthetic limb even being featured on their coat of arms. Number 9. The La Brea Woman The La Brea Woman was the name given to the girl whose remains were discovered at the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles. The remains were first discovered in 1914, and they turned out to be the partial skeletal remains of a woman who had died at around 25 years old, about 10,022 years ago. To date, she is still the only person who has ever been discovered inside the La Brea Tar Pits. You might be wondering how just one person in all of history could be found at a site like the La Brea Tar Pits. Well, archaeological evaluations of the woman's skeleton showed that her skull had been fractured, probably by a blow to the head and that was likely the cause of her death. It was probably that her body was dumped into the tar pits like you might dump a corpse into a sinkhole to try and hide your crime. But considering the woman lived in North America 10,000 years ago, nobody really knows what happened that caused her body to be lost in the sticky tar of the pits. Number 8. Mysterious Dinosaur Bones A mysterious new archaeological discovery of two dinosaur skeletons has revealed a totally new species of Nothosaur, a group of aquatic reptiles that lived in the water during the Triassic period over 200 million years ago. Because of their small heads, wide snouts, and flipper-like limbs, the bones were easily identified by paleontologists as belonging to a Nothosaur. However, the bones were found with much shorter tails than any other specimen of Nothosaur. And while this may sound super boring so far, it's actually quite interesting. According to a doctor from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the new species adapted differently than the other Nothosaurs, which means we're looking at a bridge in evolution. The newer Nothosaur, with their smaller tails, could hang out at the bottom of the sea without exerting much energy, which could have made them more reliable predators. It means that even 200 million years ago, dinosaurs were still evolving. It makes you wonder what would have happened if it hadn't been for that blasted meteorite. What would another 200 million years of evolution have turned these creatures into? Number 7. Edward Scissorhands Archaeologists have made an extremely bizarre discovery. Not only did they find a makeshift prosthetic device on a warrior buried 1,000 years ago, but the prosthetic device wasn't even what you would expect. Rather than having an iron hand like the German mercenary, this guy replaced his arm with a sword. According to the report from Archaeology magazine, wear found on the skeleton's teeth suggested that he had been adjusting the prosthetic straps using his mouth for quite some time. They also discovered calluses and bone spurs on the stump of his arm that showed exactly where he had replaced his limb with a sword. It had basically become a part of his body. Where was such a brave warrior discovered, you ask? He was found inside of a necropolis in northern Italy, among several other skeletons, a headless horse, and even some dogs. But he wasn't Italian or from the Roman Empire. The man was part of the Lombards, who were a Germanic people that ruled nearly all of the Italian peninsula between 568 and 774, after the fall of the Byzantine Empire. The Lombards were a ruthless warrior people, so it makes sense that when one of them lost a limb, he'd simply screw a sword onto the stump and continue stabbing his enemies. Scientists believe that the warrior died probably around the age of 50, but his arm being amputated likely happened much earlier in his life. Number 6. Viking Poop Get ready to be grossed out. Our next story today is about Viking poop. That's right, 
archaeologists have discovered perhaps the best preserved piece of poop ever. It was found in New York way back in 1972, under what eventually turned into a bank. This is why the preserved Viking excrement was called the Lloyds Bank Copperlite, or if you prefer, the Lloyds Bank Turd. But why is such a discovery important? It seems like something that nobody would really care about, but that's not true at all. Some paleontologists have referred to the fossilized Viking coprolite as being as precious as the crown jewels. This is because the poop dates back to the 9th century, when the area of York in England was ruled by ferocious Norse kings. It's a very important time in English history. Even more interesting is what scientists were able to determine simply by doing DNA testing on the poop. They were able to extract tons of information from the fossil, including that the human who had deposited it had a diet of meat and bread but they also had intestinal issues. The Lloyds Bank Copperlite was apparently filled with whipworm and mawworm eggs. This probably meant that the Viking warrior had stomach aches and other nasty gastrointestinal problems. If you're feeling particularly curious, you can check out the most famous poop in the world at the Jorvik Viking Center, where it sits safely inside of a glass box. Number 5. The Khufu Ship The Khufu Ship is one of the most impressive Egyptian vessels ever found. It was originally discovered in 1954 inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. The vessel was also found with the famous Egyptian pharaoh himself, whom the Great Pyramid was built for. The wooden ship was constructed 4,600 years ago and so well designed that it could actually still set sail if launched back onto the Nile River even today. The exact purpose of the boat is still a bit of a mystery, but one of the prevailing theories is that it was placed inside of Khufu's burial chamber so that he could sail across the heavens after death to be with the sun god Ra. The ship was found under a stone wall on the southern side of the Great Pyramid, and it took over a decade for experts to put together all 1,224 individual pieces of the giant boat. It's now sitting inside a specially designed museum just outside the pyramid. As for Khufu, he was the second pharaoh of the fourth dynasty, he ruled Egypt over 2,500 years before Jesus was born. But other than commissioning the Great Pyramid of Giza to be built, there's little else known about him. Number 4. Prehistoric Bongs This next one is for the stoners out there. Anyone who thinks bongs are a modern device is absolutely wrong. Archaeologists actually discovered bongs crafted of solid gold that were used by the ancient Scythians almost 2,500 years ago for cannabis. The discovery was made by archaeologists in southern Russia, and they found over seven pounds of gold artifacts from the time of the Scythians, who were a nomadic people that ruled much of Central Asia back in the time that Khufu was ruling Egypt. The gold artifacts included jewelry, cups, and of course, the bongs. But not only were they used for smoking ancient marijuana, they were also used for opium. It turns out that even the most ancient of civilizations had a bit of a problem with drugs. Greek historians claim that the Scythians used the gold vessels to brew an opium concoction, which they may have drank before smoking the cannabis. It's unclear whether these substances were used for ritual purposes or just for recreation. However, scientists are positive that they used both substances at the same time. These must have been some serious people if they needed to smoke cannabis after opium just to get their rocks off. Number 3. Lost City of Tanea. Yet another lost city has been found by archaeologists in Greece. It seems that there's no end to ancient cities spread across the Mediterranean. This is the lost city of Tanea, and it was likely founded 3,000 years ago by Trojan prisoners after their devastating defeat in the Trojan War. You know, the one where they were defeated by Brad Pitt and an enormous wooden horse? It's likely that the survivors of the Trojan War fled to the south of Greece, where they constructed a small village. The search for this lost city began in 1984, when an archaeologist discovered a sarcophagus near the small village of Chiliomodi, just slightly south of Athens. After the first sarcophagus was found, a huge archaeological undertaking went down, but not until 2013. And it wasn't until 2018 that a graveyard was found that contained the remains of Trojan men and women. These tombs were stocked with bronze and gold jewelry, gold coins, and other valuable grave relics. This indicates that the people who had lived in the ancient city of Tanea must have been pretty wealthy. But it wasn't until after the graveyard was found that the first buildings of the ancient city were discovered. The researchers finally found beams, columns, and stone floors buried under the dirt that suggests the city had once stood, but throughout the centuries had been destroyed and built over. The people who lived in Tanea were likely the last of the Trojan warriors. Their city probably thrived from between 323 and 146 BC, when the Roman Empire occupied Greece and brought the entire region under imperial control. Number 2. Spanish Stonehenge 
As time goes on, we seem to find more and more Stonehenge copycats throughout the world. In 2019 alone, a severe drought caused water levels to drop, which revealed an ancient stone circle of over 100 standing rocks. But what's really incredible about this new Spanish Stonehenge is that it's dated to be at least 7,000 years old. According to NBC News, it's known as the Dolmen of Guadalperal, and it vanished in 1963 when the Spanish government constructed a reservoir to feed a hydroelectric dam. The photos of the revealed structure were snapped by NASA's Landsat 8 satellite in the middle of July, and it sparked renewed interest in the mysterious monument. Even though the stone circle was originally excavated in the 1920s by a German archaeologist, his findings were never published until the 1960s. By then, the reservoir was already planned to be flooded. For that reason, modern archaeologists have never been able to properly excavate or investigate the standing rocks, which are believed to have been part of an enclosed structure. They may also have been used as a tomb, a site for trade in ancient times, or even for religious rituals. Unfortunately, the reservoir has since filled back up with water, and it's now impossible to study the Spanish Stonehenge properly. Number 1. Unusual Dog Burial Animal burials are nothing new when it comes to ancient Egypt. It's now fairly well known that the ancient Egyptians mummified all kinds of animals, from dogs to baboons. We also now know that there were special cults in ancient Egypt that practiced mass sacrifice of dogs and cats. However, a new discovery made a few years ago of an unusual canine burial in a brick structure in Abydos has raised even more questions about the ancient Egyptian practices of animal burial. It all began when a pair of preserved dogs were found curled inside a large ceramic pot that dated back 3,000 years. It was the very first time that dogs have ever been found inside of burial jars. The pups were nicknamed Houdini and Chewy, as horribly inappropriate as that may be, and they even had their fur still intact. Because of the size of the dogs, researchers at the time could not understand how they were forced into the jars. What researchers could determine was that the dogs were about five years old when they died and were likely sacred animals in life. Because of the way they were buried, they must have been held in high regard within the community. However, scientists and Egyptologists don't know who the dogs were, why they were so important, or who they had belonged to, if they had even belonged to anyone. For those who don't know, Abydos, the location where the dogs were found, was constructed around 2750 BC and dedicated to the second dynasty king, Casa Kemwi. Which of these strange discoveries did you enjoy the most? Let me know what you think in the comments and thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and come back soon for another fantastic video. Oh! <laughs>